And if there's one thing lower than a sideshow freak, it's a gritty, scum sucking, pencil neck geek. You see, if you take a pencil to hold a lead, it looks like a pipe cleaner. That's your head. And a buggy with body with a brain that leaks. You got yourself a gritty, pencil neck geek. Pencil neck geek. Gritty, freak, scum sucking, he is with a lousy proceed. He's a one man, no but losing streak. Nothing but a pencil neck geek. Yep, uh, coming in at number um, <clears throat> 26, a well, well deserved position, is uh, Mr. Classy Freddy Balassi. Um, now, a lot of people don't actually know about Classy. Uh, because he was in the WWWF and he was mainly a manager then. Um, but this guy, probably, I, I'll say two things of this guy. One, probably he was the one of uh, the most hated men in the WWWF, and it was all due to his persona and charisma and his ability to make people loathe him and loathe whoever he was representing. Um, secondly, um, he probably, I, I would say, like, you know, uh, I think easily one of, one of the top five most charismatic and humorous individuals to ever be involved in um, wrestling entertainment. Um, this guy was so good on the mic, so funny. Um, and, and even when, you, you know, this is one of the guys, you go back and watch, I was saying this in the last video about um, going back and watching videos of um, wrestlers in like, say, I don't know, the, 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 was it, the 50s or something like that. And, um, a lot of it doesn't translate well into the modern world. This is a guy, it translated, and it translated well. You can watch for Classy Freddy Bassey whenever. Go on, watch one of his promos, um, even watch some of his matches, and they work. They work. He was a fantastic heel. He was, and, and he, used to, uh, he used to say how he used to cut his teeth because he used to bite people. He was like, he was like the original Ric Flair, the original dirtiest player in the game. And um, so he, he, he was biting people and making them bleed, probably like the first, some of the first times you saw blood in wrestling matches. So he was an innovator in that sense. Um, always up to some, you know, dirty tricks to win. Um, just a great, great performer. Um, and then it came to him on the mic, cutting promos, even when he was a wrestler, you know, and he was like, Calling the the local females, um, uh, you know, uh, fat pigs uh, wearing their potato cut sh uh, uh, dresses or whatever, and saying, you know, like he was the most handsome man in the world, and you know, no, you know, it, 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 it's uh, no surprise that um, uh, that at his matches there's um, there's like sixty percent of the audience are women. You know, he was just a he was just a funny guy, and I can't do justice to him. Like a lot of the guys I've tried to imitate, but I cannot do justice to Classy Freddy Blassie. I'm actually leaving after this video, um, like I've left uh, um, in the videos before, uh, a little kind of brief kind of uh, you know uh, promos of his and, and stuff like that, so you can just have a look. Um, I also I'm going to finish this with with one thing. Um, this guy, I'll tell you how good he was. I think he may well be the only man in living history to out-talk um, Muhammad Ali. <laughs> uh, just straight out-talked him. And, you know, uh, Muhammad Ali and him were great friends, uh, you know, till, till, till uh, Freddie Blassie actually died. 
Um, he was, um, you know, managing him during uh, when Muhammad Ali was having a wrestling feud with uh, some guy. Um, and please, please watch this interview. It's not very long, and it's very, very funny, and you'll love it. Uh, if you watch anything of the Freddie Blassie things I've put um, uh, as clips uh, after this video. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, you know, this is a guy who literally can out-talk um, Muhammad Ali, and I think that is a, a great feat for anyone to do. And you see, it's so beautiful, there's a moment where Muhammad Ali can't help but to just up and he turns his head, and he's cracking up because of um, what Freddie Blassie is saying, because he's just so funny, and, and Freddie all the way stays straight-faced about what, he, what he's saying, you know, even though it's hilarious. Um, definitely one of the funniest guys to ever uh, lace up boots. Um, definitely one of the most charismatic uh, guys to lace up a boot. I am proud to uh, put him on my list. Um, I wish I could put him higher. Unfortunately, I, you know, I've seen clips, you know, I wasn't there to experience him properly, so I, 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 but I genuinely think he, he had charisma to spare, um, easily up there with um, Stone Cold and, uh, and The Rock in terms of charisma and mic skills. Um, uh, I don't know, I, in terms of the impact he's had on the business, probably as a manager he had great impact, but um, you know, as I said as a wrestler, he was like doing 30 moves and back in the day. Um, you know the blood that he, he was getting people to you know bleed from biting them. So again, I think um, there's there's something to be said of uh, his influence. But um, yeah, the reason he's so low is because I can't really make out exactly what that influence is. But I will say I do salute you, Classy Freddie Blassie. In, um, there is no doubt uh, that you were in fact a class act. And I am a mere mortal pencil neck geek who is in awe of you.